I'm an elite leader, baby. I can't believe it happened. back to another video today i will be doing the balanced nutra collection try on haul and review and it's my first try on haul and review as an elite leader i literally can't process i can't believe it happened i've been working with balance for almost two years it'll be two years in december so in four months i've been working my butt off but this was all possible because of you guys supporting me so i am so so grateful for you and thank you guys so much for taking that extra step to use my link. I know I say this all the time, but that little step is literally what got me here. So I owe it all to you guys. And I like, I just can't believe it. I have to put in a little clip of that, that day when I found out that I was an elite leader. This is, oh! bitch, it says elite leader bag. I thought this was an uptown duffel. Wait, I'm freaking out you guys. Wait, what? Let me get all this out. Stop, I got the whole collection. Sorry, I... If you guys are just joining, Libby's on live with me. <laughs> Anyways, so we're gonna get into the collection because I am in a rush. I have to go pick up Marissa in literally a couple hours. Let's get started into this try on haul and review. I'm gonna put up my stats up here for you guys, but I am 5'6". I'm about 135 pounds. My waist is 25 inches. My chest is 32B. My hips are about 38, 39 inches. And my thighs are 21 inches. This collection is literally my favorite thing ever. If you guys haven't followed me for a while you know neutrals are like my everything yes i love a pop of color during the summer every once in a while but neutrals are what i always go for so this collection named neutra i was so freaking excited out of all the collection that i get promoted to be an elite it's this one i couldn't have asked for anything better honestly let's get into it this collection launches on september 3rd at 12 p.m est so they did change up the time that's 9 a.m pst 10 a.m mountain standard time 11 a.m central and then 12 p.m eastern then i'm gonna start with my Favorite two pieces of this collection. I've worn this exact outfit in different colorways the past week So I can really give you guys an in-depth review and you guys know I'm always honest So let's start with a core bra remember two collections ago for element when I said the Ignite bra is my favorite bra ever. No, 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 no more because the core bra is my absolute favorite bra ever because it's got this scoop neckline right here. It really accentuates these ladies and it's very minimum like coverage. So this is cups A through C. They do have a longer line for D cups ladies, but this kind of like gives me a ritzy of vibes. And then the back is a racer back. The logo is embroidered. It's an embroidered triangle. It's very, very minimum. Like you can barely see it. No, and it's in my favorite material, cloud. So it's very buttery soft. I haven't had any pilling yet, but because clouds are very soft, I feel like it will pill in the future. Currently, I'm wearing the size extra small in this bra, but I am sizing up to size small. So I got the black one in the size small. I'll do a side by side comparison. This extra small fit me fine when I was doing back day that like, the skin was bulging out on the sides of my lats and it was rubbing against my arms. I'm usually a size extra small in their bras. For Ignite bra, I was an extra small, but I feel like the sizing chart is really on point this time because it always says 32 bands should be a size small, but I haven't worn a size small bra in balance like ever. It was always a true extra small. I feel like this time around, the sizing chart is really on point with the bra. These don't have the adjustable straps and that's usually an issue for me because the bra strap are usually long but this one is so freaking perfect and you guys know i personally love the removable pads so they do have that this collection that was my only issue with the ignite bra not having the removable cup pad if you guys don't like them you can just take them out i know a lot of my friends do it but for ladies who are like me and who like the removable cup pads we have them finally you guys okay so this bra comes in five colorways i'm currently wearing the maple color it also comes in overcast nightshade moss and midnight okay so let's move on to the vista shorts because this is probably my favorite shorts they've ever come out with 
ever. So it is made in the same material as a Breeze. I feel like it's a little bit softer and thinner, but I might be completely wrong. These are newer than the Breeze shorts that I got last year, so I've worn those a lot more. Maybe it's because this is brand new, but it does feel a little bit softer and lighter. I love that they have the spandex underneath. I am gonna be honest, they do ride up while I'm jumping around training, but it doesn't ride up to the point where my butt is showing, so it doesn't bother me too much. Okay, so the main difference between this and the Breeze shorts, other than the spandex, is the slit on the side, and I love this look. Literally cannot express to you how much I love this look. I think it's just a cute outfit to wear with a core bra because it matches perfectly to the spandex. But Bailey, Body Fit Balance, has mentioned that girls with thicker thighs, like she had issues where this was riding up. This breeze material was riding up when she was walking. I freaking love that. The waistband here is thicker and kind of like has that paper bag look of the shorts because if you guys remember for the Brie shorts, I sized up purposely to size small even though those are huge on me so that I can cinch the waist, give it like a little bit of a paper bag look and this already kind of like does that. Okay, so the logo for this shorts is also very minimum, like it's embroidered and it's on the shorts up here you can barely see it because it's the same colorway as the shorts it's just like a little bit darker they do have drawstrings inside the shorts so if you are someone who want to size up for extra leg room or something you can cinch the waist still and tighten it my favorite thing about the vista shorts are literally the fact that it's like breezy similar to the breeze shorts where the glutes look slightly more bigger than it might actually be because it's just like Flowier. For the Vista shorts, I am an extra small and that's my true size in balance all around for the bottoms. The Brie shorts, again, I've sized up to small on purpose, but if I wanted it to fit the waistband the way it is, my true size for Brie shorts were also an extra small and that's the newest Brie shorts version I'm talking about. Harmony 2.0 collection shorts that you got in the Brie shorts, I would stick to the same size. These Vista shorts also comes in five colorways. I'm wearing the nutmeg color. It also comes in stone, midnight, olive, and wildflower. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the Ethos jacket before I change and show you guys the next outfit. This jacket is, I, I just can't tell you my love for this collection because there's not a single piece that I don't like. The past like three, four collections, I was always honest with you guys, there was at least like one or two pieces that I wasn't a huge fan of. Anyways, the Ethan's jacket, it's just so stylish. There's like a ruche scrunch up like detail on the side of the arms. It's super nice. Where it ends up by your wrist, it's also cinched. This Material is a windbreaker on the outside, but it's a very thin like fleece lining on the inside So it's kind of like it keeps you warm. It's a cute stylish and warm outfit for the fall when it's just a little bit chilly Just not for your winter, but okay, so where it ends it's an oversized look So when I zip it up, it doesn't like cinch it in but there is a detail Where it's oversized here and then kind of cinches towards your waistband, but again like when I zip it it doesn't stick on and like it's still loose here where is the logo because i still haven't found a logo yet okay so the logo is at the back of the jacket up here honestly i didn't even know where it was i had to look for it just now because my hair covers it most of the times that i'm wearing it okay so this jacket i am wearing it in a size small for most long sleeve tops and jackets i do tend to go for a size up size small just because i like the extra arm room here this ethos jacket come in three colors i'm wearing the cocoa plaid my favorite ever my second favorite is cloud and then there's the third one that comes at midnight and that is like a badass vibe you know you wear some dr martens with some jeans and those black jacket mm. It's a vibe. Okay, on to the shorter cloud shorts. So remember how earlier I said there wasn't a single piece where I didn't love 100%? Okay, well, I lied. These are not my favorite, and you guys all know this. It's nothing new. So I did end up sizing up to size small because I wanted the longer length because in the extra smalls in the previous collection, they did write up was showing my under butt and I didn't love that. So this time it is like fuller coverage. It does cover my butt all the way, but I still would personally like half an inch to an inch longer just because I feel like at this length, it still flattens my butt a little bit. There's always going to be a piece that where we prefer one thing over the other. And for me, that's the rider shorts over the shorter shorts, but it's the same material as the rider, same material as the leggings, super buttery soft. I feel like this cloud material for the shorts 
is a little bit more sleek than the previous collection but i might be wrong so don't take my word for it but i just feel like it won't pill but again don't take my word for it i might be completely wrong maybe it's because this is brand new again as you guys know they have the beautiful booty contour where it goes up and around but like i've told you my butt still looks flatter in the shorter shorts because of the length of them logo is embroidered and i'm wearing a size small in the shorter shorts just for the length so if you are someone who is shorter than me i'm five six i would go for your regular size but for me i have longer legs okay so the colorway is a little bit different than the rider shorts so the rider shorts are like the darker versions of the clouds shorts okay so this is the like pinkish reddish colorway of the rider shorts and then this is a shorter short you see it's like two-tone it's not the same exact color so this is blackberry and the rider shorts but then the cloud shorts i'm wearing the wildflower wildflower is still two-tone with a core bra but it's actually the exact same color as the reach bra which is the higher neck the other bra that's coming with i don't like to wear matchy matchy you guys know this like i know um other brands do like matching top and bottom i personally don't love that look so i like the two tones but this is a wildflower that i'm wearing and they do come in the five colorways again all of the class shorts the shorter shorts are the same exact color as the reach bra and this comes in nutmeg stone olive midnight and the wildflower that i'm wearing okay on to the brighter shorts even though it's the same core bra that i'm wearing just changed to match the colorway. You guys all knew up until this collection, the writer shorts were my favorite thing ever. It's now my second favorite thing ever next to the Vista shorts. These writer shorts are exactly the same as the past collection in the quartz and then the Atmos summer restock where it's a tie dye. So I would stick to your exact same sizing. Um, I am sticking with an extra small, but whatever collection, whatever sizing you got in the previous collection, I would stick with because it's the exact same. Um, if you guys are new, so writer shorts are the longer length of the shorts. I do hike them up. That's the length that it's at now when I hike them up. The full length are here it's like i have pretty long legs it's like a little bit higher than the middle of my thighs but i do like them cinched and hiked up i like to make them a little bit shorter like this but when i wear an oversized t-shirt for a go for the lifestyle look i do like them full length the great thing about rider shorts that i've always loved is that they don't dig in at the leg area there are certain brands where the leg area is a little bit too tight and like they feel like sausages they don't have a front seam and i'm so glad when they made that change last year because we don't like camel toes the waistband is slightly tapered i personally like the waistband taper just because it gives us this like nice shape okay and then the glue contour you all know it already it goes up and around and like really accentuates your bum and then the logo for the writer shorts is also embroidered so we love that i'm wearing this writer shorts in the size extra small and i'm wearing this in the blackberry color super cute these writer shorts also come in five colorway again i'm wearing the blackberry one it also comes in coat Coco, charcoal, willow, and midnight. Okay, so the last outfit are the leggings and the reach bra. Super cute look. I think this is such a cute fall look with the ethos jacket. Okay, let's start with a reach bra. So I love this bra, which shocked me because I don't go for the high necks whatsoever. I am like the president of the itty bitty titty committee and that's fine. But like the high neck bras usually doesn't look good on me, but it looks so good on me. I'm such a huge fan. So I love that there's adjustable straps. Even though it's a high neck bra, it has like a rounded off neckline right here. I think it's slightly more supportive than the core bra, but I still find this a medium support. Only reason being it's spaghetti straps, so I don't think it's high support but the band is thicker than the core bra so I do feel like it's slightly more supportive than the core. The back of the sports bra has a T strap so it kind of it's more like a Y. They call it this T but you see how it's a Y and then meets in the middle and then goes straight down. Also has the embroidered logo and you guys know I love the embroidered logo. This ring here at the back it does not dig in when I do hip thrust or anything. That's what I was mainly concerned for. It doesn't dig in so it's perfect. There's also rings over here right where um, the straps start. Okay so I freaking love this bra but there's just one thing that I wish I could fix and it is the removable cuffs they don't have them and so i put them in here um so if you're like me who likes cups you can 
place them in and that's fine. So what I do is I make sure the bottom of the cuffs is um, held on by this the band of the bra just so that it won't actually like slip out during a workout. Okay, so for this bra, I stuck with a size extra small. I didn't ask for a size bigger just because this bra is designed for A through C and the D plus cup sizes. So I wasn't sure how much more room there would be because if you guys can see here, um, there's a little bit extra fabric right where my under boob is just because I don't have enough boobage to cover it But that's okay. The adjustable straps kind of helps it. Um, but if you guys see the back As you guys can see it's not much but just the skin kind of folds over so I kind of have to adjust it quite frequently Um, what else? Oh, there's like a really cute like detail in the front like right by the side of your boobs Okay, but this comes in five colorways as well. I'm wearing the olive and it comes in nutmeg, stone, wildflower, and midnight. All right, last but not least, the leggings. Do you guys know cloud leggings are my favorite leggings they have come out with next to the tenacity. As I've mentioned about the shorts, I feel like the material is slightly more sleek and I, I'm sticking to my guns with this. I've asked my friend, Marissa, who also works for balance, I was like, is it just me or does it feel a little bit nicer? And she said the same thing. So I feel like it's not just me. Me. This one doesn't feel as brushed, that's the word I was looking for, than the previous cloud leggings and shorts. But fit wise, like detail wise, it's the same as the quartz collection. This it's extra small fits me super great. And you guys know the booty contour, I've talked about this like three times now. Goes up and around, super cute, all that jazz. And then the embroidered logo, so nice. The leggings are seventh, eighth length. If you guys are new, all balanced leggings are seven, eighth, and it works perfectly, especially for me. So these leggings come in five colorways. I'm wearing the willow color. It also comes in cocoa, charcoal, blackberry, and midnight. All right, you guys, so that is all for the review. I did change back to the original outfit because I'll be out and about in Boston, and I I just like this look. Oh, I'm gonna talk about <laughs> the duffel bag. I forgot about this. <laughs> okay, so let me talk about this quickly before I end the video. Uh, this is the same duffel that they came out with for the Quartz collection. I just didn't receive it. I actually bought one, but they sent me this and look, look what it said. Elite leader, baby. I'm so excited. Anyway, so the Uptown Duffel is a perfect overnight weekend trip. It's also a cute gym bag. I've actually been wearing this to the gym just because it says my name on the side. But um, I do prefer my gym bag slightly bigger, but if you don't have a lot of stuff that you're carrying, this is a perfect gym bag for you, especially because there's a little compartment here meant for your shoes. There's stuff in here because I'm about to go take photos later with Marissa. But there's a inner pocket here. And then there's another inner pocket here, which is in the zip up on this side. It's just a mesh detail. There's lots of pockets in this bag. There's a side pocket here as well as a front pocket here. This is where I usually keep my phone and then I keep my keys here. Super roomy. Super convenient. There's two options to wear it. So you can wear longer straps or an actually like a over the shoulder purse kind like this. All right, you guys, that is all for this Nutra Collections review. I hope it was helpful. I hope I answered all your questions. If I missed anything or if you still have any more questions, you guys can always DM me. And I also do a last minute question and answers on my story the night before and the morning of the launch. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys do want to support me and use my link it is down below in the description box I am doing a monthly giveaway so please send me all your order confirmations to my email if you do decide to use my link because it's my way of thanking you guys I just appreciate you guys and this is just my small way of showing my appreciation but if you guys did enjoy this video please leave a like and subscribe because I will be back with more videos I will see you guys later bye